Hi, I'm Tim Desai. Thank you very much for your interest in the Cohesity Smart File Assessment. As you're probably well aware, the rate of corporate data growth is astronomical, and the volume of that data is doubling every few years. Furthermore, as much as 90% of that data is unstructured, and most of it tends to be inactive or cold. It's really hard to know what data you have, how and when it's being used, and how much capacity is being consumed by unused data. If you're not keeping track of these things, it's more than likely that your NAS capacity utilization is less than ideal. To optimize your environment to get the most out of your NAS investments, you're going to need insights about your file data. And that's what the Cohesity Smart File Assessment is all about. The Smart File Assessment is based on our Smart Files product, which is our data service for managing unstructured data, including files and objects. Using a feature in Smart Files called Data Insights, we can securely scan your NAS metadata without reading the file contents, so security risks are avoided. The assessment easily and quickly discovers information about file types, file sizes, data access trends, and capacity usage across your NAS devices. With these insights in hand, you have the information you need to intelligently optimize your environment. For instance, you could reduce costs by moving data that hasn't been accessed in the last 90 days to a much more economical tier. In doing so, you'll free up capacity on your existing NAS devices for critical applications, and that's going to make your organization more productive. Getting started with the Smart File Assessment is easy. We'll scope the assessment with you and then set up and run the assessment for you. I'm going to hand off to Vic now so he can demonstrate the Smart File Assessment and show you the kind of actionable data it will produce. Okay, thanks, Tim, and great overview. Well, hello, everybody, and thanks again for tuning in. As Tim mentioned, my name is Vic Camacho, Principal Technologist here at Cohesity. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my web browser so we can jump right into the demo. Okay, so as Tim mentioned, Data Insights is part of Smart Files. And so to get there, we're simply going to move over to the left, click on the Smart Files drop down menu, and then select Data Insights. Now, Data Insights is really a two part process. The first is the data analysis of the data that sits on a third party NAS system. And the second is driving the data tiering decisions based on that analysis. Now, the purpose of the feature is to enable the migration of cold data from third-party sources like your NetApp and your Isilon or any other generic NAS devices you may have. And then again, just as a reminder, using Data Insights, we scan your, your NAS metadata. We don't read the contents of your files internally. So it's a very secure process. Now, the first step is just to simply add a source. We click the Add button, register a new source. You can choose either NFS or SMB. Uh, you decide what you want that to be. Uh, you mount the path. You can give it a description and then register the source. Now, I already have a few below as an example, so we're going to go ahead and click Cancel here. Once the new source has been registered, the next step is to analyze the source. The amount of time it takes for the analysis to complete will depend on how much data or files you have on the source. Now, once you've done the analysis, and I'll just go ahead and click Analyze here. This Now, this is a very small share, so it's going to complete uh, pretty quickly. But once it does, what you're then left with is this Plan Tiering button. Now, based on the analysis, you can start to plan your data tiering jobs and select some of that criteria. And so from here, you would just click Plan Tiering. Now, based on your selection criteria, we'll change the selection, selection summary just below. In this example, we have both warm and cold data selected to tier off from the third-party NAS system and onto Cohesity. Now, you, in your organization, you may choose to do only cold. Again, it's giving you the option to do what you want to do for your organization. Now, you also have the ability to uh, select some other selection criteria here on the kind of data that you want to migrate over. Uh, and so here you can choose very small files, small files, medium. So you get to decide what you want to tear off 
off of your third-party NAS device and onto Cohesity to save some of that much needed space on your third-party NAS system. Now, just below here, uh, you can group, uh, in the graph, you can group by things like file sizes. So here is giving you, uh, in at least in the hot data category, how much small files and how many small files here are here. But if you have large, medium, and, and very large files, those would also be shown here. So you can do some modeling here before you decide what you'd like to tear off. Now, based on your selection summary here or your selection criteria, uh, this is telling us that we have scanned 90 gigs and we can ha actually tear off 81 gigs based off of our selection criteria and tear that off to Cohesity, which would be pretty significant. Now, in larger environments, this could run into the terabytes. So once we're here and you're, uh, you have decided what you want as your selection criteria, simply click Continue. And then we would give this a task name. We're just going to call this test. We're not going to run all the way through with it because we already have uh, this as a, uh, as a data tearing job that runs on a nightly basis. <clears throat> now, this middle section is just a summary from your previous screen. So you can't edit this here. You would have to go back and edit your selection criteria. So again, this is just a... Uh, a summary of what you are going to tear off. Uh, now here is just about uh, selecting your default storage domain. You can add another storage domain if you have one of those. You would give this a name. Uh, I'm just going to call this Vic Test as an example. And then next is to schedule your task. You can schedule this to run daily, monthly, weekly, just depending on what you would like to run. Uh, and then we allow you to retain your snapshots for however long you need to retain those for. Now, this bottom part is pretty important. Now, we can tear the data off and leave uh, symbolic links on your third-party NAS system. Now, why would we want to do this? One example would be is if you have users in the environments that have uh, drive mappings going to the third-party NAS systems. So this would allow the users to access the data the same way before the data was migrated to Cohesity. Okay, now we also have the option to migrate the data without symbolic links. An example here would be if your third-party NAS device was end of life and you simply wanted to migrate the data from your third-party NAS and onto the Cohesity platform. This would be the best option for that. Now, once the decision has been made on what data to tear off, you can click the Create button. And then we get uh, give you a summary screen uh, based off of your selection criteria. Uh, here you have some warm and cold data that we are going to migrate over. It's going to migrate over from this generic NAS onto the new task name that you've given it onto the Cohesity system, which creates a view. Uh, and then just the, uh, the schedule and the estimated data or capacity savings on the source third-party NAS system. Now from here, you just click Submit. Now, we're already running this, so we don't want to do this again. I'm going to go ahead and click Cancel, uh, and then click Cancel here, just to get back to our screen. Now, you do have some other options. Once you created the data tiering task to run on its schedule, you do have some other options here. So if you click on the third party ellipsis or the, uh, the ellipsis button here on the right hand side, uh, you have the ability to refresh the analysis so that you have the latest and greatest data insights analysis before moving forward with your data tiering decisions. You can also edit the groupings. If we click on this, we have some attributes here that you can customize. Date of, uh, date of last access, date of last modified, file sizes, uh, and so some of these have already been predefined for you, but if we click on any of these, uh, we'll click on file types, you can customize these to, uh, to, to create your own data tiering buckets. If I click on this top one, you can see some of the options. You can exclude any of these to customize what you want to tier off to Cohesity and then start to move forward from there. We're going to leave that there for now. Uh, but once you've uh, done this, you would just then click Analyze again to if there were any changes so that you can get your new uh, data insights into the data that you can tear off. You also have the option to edit the schedule to run at another preferred time if you like.
And then the final option here is to delete the analysis. If you delete the analysis, you would then have to reanalyze the third party NAS source in order to get the latest and greatest information for your hot, cold, and warm data again. As you can see, this is a simple and straightforward process. Now that you have done the analysis and created the data tiering schedule, your capacity trends graph will start to populate. Here you can see that we already have uh, down tiered 2.5 megabytes uh, to Cohesity on this day, 1.9 on this day. If I go back to the past 30 days uh, and we wait for the graph to populate, you're going to see when we first started to run an analysis on our data source. And on this day, you can see that initially we down tier 15 gigs. And as we move down the graph, you can see that every day after that, we started to down tier more data. Now this is a smaller demo environment. So in larger production environments, this could certainly be a much larger amount of data that is being down tiered from the more costly third party NAS system and onto Cohesity. So based on your selection criteria, every day it's gonna go out and look for more warm and cold data as used in this example and down tier that off to Cohesity. So in closing, the three steps are, add a source that is your third party NAS system. Second is to analyze and provide data insights on that source. And then the final step is to decide what data to tier off based on the analysis. And that's it. I'll go ahead and turn this back over to Tim to close us out. Take it away, Tim. Thanks, Vic. If you're interested in getting started with the Smart File Assessment, it's easy. Simply contact your local Cohesity representative. Phone numbers for your local team are available on the Cohesity website's contact page. The URL for that page is shown here. You can also find much more information about Smart Files on the Cohesity website.